Hello everyone. Um, I am back, uh, and uh, this is Lita Coppola once again. And uh, I just came from work at the at the movie theater tonight, and uh, just uh, watched it. Uh, the Wild get um, beat by the Canucks uh, on uh, on NHL app, and uh, and um, Vikings also Vikings uh, just won victory against the 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 New Orleans Saints, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, despite all that sports stuff, um, that I just heard, I thought, um, I'll come on and, and share this, obviously, that's been going on for quite a while, uh, about my thoughts, um, on the, there's, there's a lot going on in the, in the film industry, uh, a lot of missed unfortunate things, and, um, uh, to uh, to to on amidst of the James Franco um sexual misconduct thing, I thought I would share my thoughts on the whole Harvey Weinstein tobacco and uh, and 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 also sexual misconduct that's been going on in the industry for 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 quite some time. Uh, as a daughter, I uh, uh, I I am a I can't imagine. I am appalled of all this. Uh, I, I know it's a, this happened this past year, but uh, reasons why I, I'm on here to to say about my opinion on it, and it's been all over the news, obviously, and uh, since last year, and uh, you know the whole Harvey Weinstein, uh, Harvey Weinstein, uh, uh, well known. Powerful man in Hollywood, a film producer, uh, sexually molested, misconducted, if not uh, uh, fifty, if not more women, obviously dating back to three decades, and uh, and you know, to me as a as an artist who's who just starting the business as a, as an actress and writer, I can't imagine what these with these expiring actresses, it's it's terrible. It really is terrible, and uh, and uh, you know Harvey Weinstein did a, a terrible thing. It wasn't okay. Uh, besides that, uh, my thought, my opinion is that uh, uh, no no matter how talented you are, you're you're gonna be taken taken advantage of. Basically, and uh, over the years, Hollywood is known for being a real sleazy business, and uh, and I can I can't imagine how many more are out there. And it's been going on since the golden ages of Hollywood, since the thirties and forties. And uh, hey, you show me your tits, I'll put you in this movie, and and it's just it's been going for a long time. And uh, in my opinion, I just want to say for all the women out there who have been victims of of the whole this whole entire thing, I'm with you. I stand by you 100 percent. I believe in you, and and as women, we must stand together in this difficult time. Not naming names on who didn't who didn't do it. Uh, the same goes for James Franco. Um, I'm not saying that he he has sexually molest, uh, sexually misconducted woman. I'm not, if he did, then he's the scum of the earth. If he didn't, then kudos for him to to speak out in this matter. And and to me, I I don't know James Franco personally, so I I can't have a say in that. But but there's so many so many women out there. Who have been victims of the Weinstein um, issue uh, have have it's it's come to light and uh, unfortunately, Harvey Weinstein will never be trialed, obviously, because the cases have since expired, and and he will will never be arrested for these crimes. And it's not just Harvey Weinstein. Ever since then, this mass happened. This the term. Of last year, the Weinstein effect, 
which means every powerful man in Hollywood basically uh, have been pretty much have been uh, a topic or an issue that they they have is they have been um, sexually mis miscontacting women or or men depending and uh, Kevin Spacey obviously and Louis CK have been um, the subject matter for uh, sexual misconduct. And it's not just the entertainment industry, it's also in news and journalism. Matt Lau was fired from the Today Show for his actions and has since been replaced. And uh, and so, there's so many other powerful men who have been the, the, the topic of the subject matter. But like I and I mentioned this, I, I said this at the my fellow co staff or volunteers that work with at the theater company over in St. Paul. And it's been it's been talked about there also because I've happened to be working in the entertainment industry. Um, and I'm telling, telling this woman that I think all women should be treated with respect. I think, think men should treat women with respect. As as a daughter, I I want nothing more to be treated with respect, especially from my mother's point of view. She does not want me be taken advantage of by a by a man, which I have been in the past, but I've never been raped. My last boyfriend tried to be a creep, and and a long story, I won't even go go there. It's just too private and personal. Anyway. You know, uh, you know, it's 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 it makes me sick inside that that these these powerful men can misuse people like that, and and because of this, you know, Harvey Weinstein, uh, has since uh, lost everything. His wife left him. He lost his job at the Weinstein Company, and and it's just unfortunate because a lot of these men's career has since fallen by the wayside. And have since become ruined because of their actions. If they done in the past or not, is only with with is, is only with question. And uh, you know it's really hard to say because um, I'm not into gossip. I'm not into celebrity at all. I'm an artist first and foremost. But to hear uh, actresses, especially unknowns, who have been used it by people such as Harvey Weinstein, it's it's unthinkable, and and as a woman, as any other one out there, we woman out there who are fighting still, it's it's good that they come forward and and speak their opinion on as victims because it's it's, it's not easy to be a victim, and uh, you know my thoughts about Harvey Weinstein, I think that uh, that. That I I can't say, but I I really think that the you know he should you know come forward and and to apologize to these women if he has so be it, but I I, I think he should make his bed and lie in it and the same with other powerful men in Hollywood, who, rich or not. Uh, any person with money and power are all bound to to fall in this category and uh, the more money you have the more it changes you and uh, and it's very true and uh, I'm not gonna sit here and judge people or, or especially men for any general but if you're a woman out there who have been victims of abuse it's it's good that you guys you guys come forward and, and speak for this match because you know, Harvey Weinstein, for the longest time, was a very powerful uh, figure in the film business. And his movies alone are incredible, and uh, he produces so many great movies, especially under Miramax. I mean, throughout the 90s, I mean, Miramax was a powerhouse. And Weinstein was considered a king of the movie business. And now, because of all of this, it's it's just... Now, now, now that I watch a Harvey Weinstein movie, which I did recently, uh, I can't not think about what he did to those women, and 
and and and it 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 it, it kind of you know, makes me you know it's like uh, you know that's why I feel every time it, I I see a, a movie made by Mad Max, which I own I own I own Goodwill Hunting on DVD, and uh, you know it just makes me feel weird. You know that that as an actor I will never ever be in a Harvey Weinstein film because of what, what, what he's done. And uh, hopefully, if he's out there somewhere, he'll be paying a price. So, uh, that's my opinion on the Harvey Weinstein and sexual misconduct issue. And uh, I just thought I would come on and tell this from the bottom of my heart. And as, as a woman, I have every right to come forward to, to support women who have been the victims of this matter. And uh, don't give up. I'm with you. I stand by you. I'm not going to judge anyone. I'm not going to say if he did it or not. I'm just speaking from the bottom of my heart. It's important for people, for women in general to have a voice and to, to, and to speak what they what the what they've been through. It's, it's very important. So that's it for my thoughts. And uh, for more on, uh, please write the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, contact me on social media on your thoughts. On, and uh, and uh, yeah, just continue to fight. So uh, that's that's it. I'm, I'm going to bed now. Um, I'll see you guys for later. And uh, take care.